Hey guys, welcome back to the first impression. Now this is a follow-up video from my previous video regarding the Leica Q, why I buy the Leica Q in 2018. Some of you guys have emailed me and asked me uh, what accessories that I use on my Leica camera really, on, or in general, what accessories that I use. A few of my uh, accessories and collection, so to speak, of how I dress up my camera with. Uh, now, the perks of having a Leica camera is actually to accessorize them, is actually to make it yours, truly. It's to personalize it more than any other camera out there, really. I mean, if, if you think about it, the third-party manufacturers, accessories manufacturer, unlike any other camera brand out there, they actually make something specific for Leica. You know, the casing, the hand grips, the thumbs up, so to speak. And it's just a very great community. If you own a Leica, you can surely feel that, that you can actually dress up your camera to your liking. So at the end of the day, it's not a tool anymore. It's your companion to go with uh, for your everyday uh, sh shoot session or, you know, photography thing, you know. I'll start, uh, first of all and foremost, with my bag, the bag that I used. This is the Billingham Hadley Small. I've been using this for almost 10 years, really, since forever. Uh, I took it to New York, I took it to Paris, I took it all around the world. Humid, cold, you name it. I mean, it's just a very beautiful bag. And it stood the, uh, the test of time, really, because when you look at the bag, you know, it's, it doesn't age at all. I mean, it's just one beautiful bag that really resonates within you when you own one. Now, what, what particularly what I like about this Hadley Small Billingham is have a quick release here to actually open the back and you can start shooting and, and grab your camera and go, so on. So what you can do is actually you can take out this, uh, what do you call it, this compartment over here and you can actually customize it to your own liking. So it has a Velcro uh, material here. If your camera is a little bit too big, you have owned a DSLR, uh, no problem at all because you can actually customize the compartment here. So the other neat feature is actually uh, this rather big compartment here. It fits snugly the charger, the camera charger in the front pocket here. It's great, they have paddings here, so it's very soft and nice. If you don't want to use this, it's fine also. You can actually take it apart and you can just leave it at your home or uh, put it in the back. And it's all made of genuine leather, which I think for the price they offer, they really um, have something to show for us. Uh, if I decide to bring one of my camera with me, uh, this will be my companion because I can fit my passport here, I can fit my notebook here, I can fit uh, iPad mini here if I want to. So this is a very, very good bag. All right, so that's the bag. So let's move on to the camera. So I started with something that I can afford back in the days. So I think I've made a very, very wise decision to actually purchase the Deluxe 6 with me. But one of the catch uh, of owning a Deluxe 6, probably you Deluxe 6 owners out there might also find it struggling is actually the because of its compactness it's very slippery at times and because the the chassis are made of metal here so it's very very slippery at times when you want to shoot something and you just want to do it quickly uh, so one of the accessories that i fit into the deluxe 6 is the all reliable hand grip over here that attaches and detaches very, very, um, uh, very, very easily and very simple. Uh, so this hand grip I bought from Leica. It's very simple because what I like about it is actually the the screws right here. Uh, unlike the Leica T, which we will get into later, uh, the hand grip on the Deluxe 6, you can easily adjust it and you can easily uh, screw it in place just as simple as that. You don't need coins, all you need is your hand and uh, it's a very, very good looking hand grip. And you will immediately feel the difference with and without the hand grip. With the hand grip, you can, you can 
feel that your your hand is strongly gripping the camera and it won't fall over anytime soon. So it's a very, very great hand grip. And what I like about the features about the hand grip is that you can actually attach it to a tripod. So without having to actually remove the hand grip. So you can actually attach this to the tripod and you can just screw it in place, no problem at all. So it's a very great accessories to start with. Um, and the second accessories that I attached with the Leica Deluxe 6 is this, uh, uh, what, the, the, the hood lens. So this is a third, uh, this is a third party uh, accessories. Leica didn't make this. It's called the GGC ALC LX7B. That's quite of a long name really. Uh, but I find this very, very useful uh, on, on, on my street photography moment, if so to speak. Uh, because before I attach this uh, accessories, I have a hard time of actually pulling and putting on the, uh, the, the lens hood every time I wanna shoot. Because uh, as you all know, the Deluxe 6 is a, is a point and shoot camera. So when you turn on the camera, the lens will actually pop out from here. So uh, it'll be great if I can just, you know, start immediately turn on the, the camera and start shooting. So what uh, so nice about this um, accessories is without having to have a hood lens that you can take it off and, uh, and on man manually, you can actually just uh, turn on the camera and it will just pop out. Oh, there you go. You can just pop out just like this. And the, the, the lens just pop out something like this. And if, if you decide to turn it off, uh, it will pop in out, pop in back. Is that even, is that the word? Pop, it, pop back in. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, so it's a very convenient, it's a very versatile accessories to be honest. Because if, you, if you're doing a street photography and you turn on the, the, the camera, uh, without having to hassle and putting it back on and putting it back out, you can actually just turn it on and it's there. So it's very convenient, it's very nice, and it's not, it's not that expensive to be honest. It's only $30 uh, last time I bought it. Um, one of the things that I really love to get is actually the EVF uh, for the Deluxe 6 because uh, this doesn't come with an uh, EVF. Uh, this is a flash if you're wondering, but it's, it's, a, it's a good looking flash. Um, the, the Deluxe 6 doesn't come with an EVF, so I decided to hunt for a cheaper alternative for the EVF. I know it's made of Panasonic, so Lumix actually have the EVF for this specific model. So it's, it'll be great if I have an e extended EVF uh, for the Deluxe 6. But nevertheless, I am very happy with the Deluxe 6. It has uh, my time, I cherish the moment. If you wanna see the, uh, the, the, the shots that I take with the Deluxe 6, do see in the link in description below, I take an abundance of shots there in my photography Instagram. Uh, next up is the Leica T. Now, I am a big fan of the Leica T in terms of design. It's designed by Audi, as you all know, and it's made of a, a solid block of aluminum. I think it's just a design fest. And pretty much you don't see any camera like this in the market now, until now, really. Uh, but uh, we're here to discuss about the accessories, right? So. Um, the accessories that I attach uh, with the Leica T is one of the things that I really need when um, I'm sure most of you probably know if you, if you own the Leica T is this. Because the Leica T doesn't come with an EVF, uh, although the digital screen, the, the, the screen here is pretty nice, uh, but you need an EVF really uh, for that privacy shot, if you know what I mean. Uh, so. Uh, this is called the Leica Visoflex, and what I like about the Visoflex is not just a, it's not just a conventional EVF. Not only it looks very distinct, not only it looks very unique, but it also tiltable, tiltable, uh, where you can just shoot from up above and you can get different perspective. So if you're wondering how the Visoflex box. Uh, look like it looks like this. This is the Visoflex box. If you purchase the Visoflex, it looks like this. 
So let's do a, a little unboxing, okay? Not, not an unboxing, so to speak. So you have your pamphlet here, and it comes with a, a, a protective cloth for traveling, and it also comes with this rather nice leather uh, uh, travel pouch, if I'm not wrong. A travel pouch? Uh, a travel pouch that fits just snugly, yeah, just the right size for the Vaisal flights. So it's a very nice addition. Uh, I think it is one of the most beneficial accessories that I have on the Leica T because I really do need that EVF. All right, so up next is the uh, leather case. Now, uh, I've been hunting this around for, for a very long time because not every Leica store actually has it. Uh, this is the leather case for the Leica T, but one of the hiccups that I find it frustrating over time is actually the fact that you have to unlock this with a coin, which is not really that fast and versatile at times. Uh, that is my only complaint because this is not practical, really, uh, to be honest. But nevertheless, the casing looks amazing. It's made of leather and it has a contrast stitching of red. It's a very, very nice looking uh, case and uh, it has a felt material inside so it doesn't your Leica T doesn't go uh, get all scratched up and such it protects your camera very very well over time uh, but as you all know the Leica T battery compartment like all Leicas is actually located below here so if you want to access the battery and if you want to access the micro SD the SD card, why am I saying the micro SD? It has a micro SD port. Uh, if you want to access the SD card, you actually have to actually uh, open the case and just put it out of its misery and just set it aside for a while and do your thing. So I don't find that really practical, but they do release a newer version of the case uh, uh, if you want to see in the website, um, which has a magnetic latch uh, that lets you actually uh, access the battery uh, with the ease of uh, flapping it open and just access the battery underneath. So that's a very, very great uh, feature, uh, a very, very great upgrade for the case. But nevertheless, I love the case. It's been with me for uh, 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 five years, uh, no, three years now, four years, four or three years. Uh, and I've come to love the case. It's very handy and it's very grippy also. Uh, and the texture of the leather just aged very well. That's what's so good about um, a leather case. It aged very well when the more you use it, uh, depending how you use it. Now, uh, the next accessories that I have on the Leica T is this matching strap. Uh, if you're wondering how the box look like, <laughs> I'm a box hoarder, okay? I, I have no. I just. I just noticed that I am a box hoarder. Uh, uh, this is the Leica neck strap. This is the box that came with it. Uh, it's very nice because uh, you have a matching color with the case, and it's made of leather too. The same leather, the same grain also, uh, and it has a contrast red stitching. Very very nice. And you have this very nice material over here that that doesn't. Uh, give fatigue to your neck or your shoulder when you're actually holding it up. So it's a very, very nice strap and it holds it in place just, just right and, and it's just ergonomically speaking, it's just very, very nice. Um, and what I like ab uh, about the strap is the feature where you can actually uh, adjust your length of the strap by easily just pulling this out and just, um, just uh, putting it on the other section of the strap and you have yourself a new length. There you go. And you can easily adjust it while you're on the go and it's very, very simple. You know, it just took another force and you can, you know, there you go, it's done. So it's very, very simple. It's a very, very simple strap. I like it. And it, this is the box that came with it. Uh, one of the particular thing that I purchased and never use is the Leica T-Snap. So the Leica T-Snap, unlike leather, is the cheaper alternative for the case for the Leica T. So this is the Leica T-Snap. Still in its plastic. 
<laughs> it just shows that I never use this. Uh, although after the video, probably I'm very interested on using it. Uh, this is a PVC plastic uh, case for the Leica T. Very, very nice, very light, and it gives you different color uh, for the Leica T. This is white, and it has this very nice matte texture in the front. Very, very nice. I like it. Uh, it's very grippy. Uh, although I never use it on my Leica T, but I am looking forward on using it. Just looking at it now. <laughs> I've been storing this under my bed for like, I don't know, for three years. My God, I never use it. But, uh, but it's a very, very nice case. It's well made. Um, yeah, that's like a T snap for you. So it is a very, very nice case. I'll just set it up in there. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, the Leica T comes with uh, the rubber strap as a default. Uh, and it comes with this unique lock that only fits on the Leica T. So if you want to get this leather strap, uh, you have to get this uh, 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 universal strap lock, uh, uh, the, the lock for the, for, for the Leica T specifically to attach any other strap uh, out there. So keep in mind, if you want to change strap on the Leica T, do purchase this uh, universal strap lock. I'll, 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 uh, I'll put the link in the description below for all the accessories here. So just for you wondering, you need this if you want to get another strap for the Leica T. So one of the things that I don't like about this strap is that it's too, ru too rubbery at times. Uh, when you put it on your neck over time, it kind of, you know, it kind of, uh, I don't know, I, it's just not comfortable and it's not adjustable anyway. This is one size fits all. So this is the only length that you're, you're getting. Uh, so it's not something that I would recommend to use for a very long time. But uh, if you like the aesthetic, if you like the design idea, I think go ahead and buy it. Uh, buy different colors or it comes with the Leica T. For Christ's sake, you know, use it. Uh, my Leica T uh, rocks a 50 millimeter Noctilux M F1. So the reason why I decided to get the Noctilux for the T is because the T has this very distinct um, image quality into it. Uh, you, kn you know for sure when, when someone uh, gets the picture with the T and let's say the M240, the Leica M240, you suddenly see the difference of how modern, of how, of how minimalistic the vibe of the picture taken from the Leica T. So you definitely see the difference when you uh, when someone snap a photo from any other camera and the T. So that's what I like about the T. Uh, and uh, it's a very good moment to actually combine it with the Noctilux because you have that creamy softness in the picture. The bokeh is like any other. And the, what I like about the T is it has an undersaturated uh, kind of uh, color tone in the picture. So when you get it with uh, the Noctilux here, especially with the F1, uh, you get this really, really contemporary feeling on your picture. Very, very nice. Uh, if, if you want to see the result, you can see it on the, uh, my Instagram page below in the link in the description. Uh, feel free to uh, give feedback and, and, and criticize my photography work. I, I'm not an expert in any means, but uh, I like taking pictures. So uh, it's a very, very great lens. Um, and one of the things that I just uh, recently purchased with my father and uh, my uncle is uh, actually this Canon uh, lens 15mm f1.4. Now this produces a very silky 80s bokeh, uh, unlike any other really. And they consider this as the, the Sumilux of Japan. Uh, and I like how the hood is still the, the, the old uh, Canon logo there. Uh, it's a very, very nice uh, lens and uh, I do have the mount for this uh, that is actually attached for, for Canon to T. T, M, T, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Um, so I use uh, this. This is a rather cheap uh, adapter for the Leica T. It's only, it only costs about $60 or so. 
uh, that gets from uh, a Leica M lens to the T. It's called Pixco. Uh, I'll put it in the link in the description below if you want. It's a cheap alternative for the adapter because you know the Leica's adapter tends to be very, very expensive. So um, this is the adapter that I actually use and it works pretty well. It looks really, it, it, it works pretty well. I mean, it does the job done. It's pretty affordable and it fits very snug and nicely. So yeah, so that is the accessories for the Leica T. Uh, probably I would want to change the case. That's the only problem that I'm actually having now. But other than that, it works perfectly. And probably I'll try this out and see if probably I'll do a review if you want to guys, if you guys want to know. Uh, so yeah, that is the Leica T uh, accessories that I actually use. So moving on to the recent baby that I just purchased. This is the Leica Q. Uh, if you haven't watched the video on what I thought about the Leica Q, the video is up here. I really love the Leica Q. If you're starting and you're a new photographer who wants to get into the Leica vibe, uh, who wants to shoot street photography, I think this would be the perfect camera for you. This is the Leica Q uh, that I just purchased about uh, a couple of weeks ago and I already accessorized it uh, and one of the things that I had to get when, when I decided to purchase the Leica Q is the fact that I need a case for this because I'm a little bit of an OCD when it comes to scratch and dings and stuff but at the same time I love to use the product. It's a camera after all. I want to use it, you know. So it's not something that, you know, you collect dust on the on the shelf and such. So this is one of my favorite uh, case or uh, camera accessories uh, maker in the world, I guess. This is um, Artisan and Artist. Uh, this is one of my favorite brand in terms of camera accessories because what I like about them is they they, they, they create something so simple yet it's just uh, it's just stunning the quality is just second to none and uh, it, there's something special about something that is made in Japan uh, because it, it just looks so so beautiful at your hand this is the box that came with it uh, it's very very simple black box not something that you would find on the airplane uh, it comes with a care instruction a care instruction just means pronounce that and also a, a clock uh, that's it that simple nothing too flashy nothing too complicated it's 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 a very good packaging so what I like about this case is it's uh, it's not like any other case out there it's very it's very thin uh, it's not too bulky and they have a, a, a built-in hand grip here so you don't need the ha additional hand grip if you're getting the Leica Q. You can actually just get this case and it comes with a hand grip, a built-in hand grip at least. Uh, and everything on this case is just done so perfectly. The stitches are very neat. There's felt finishes inside here. So your, your Leica Q would stay in good shape for, for years and, and on. And the, the opening and closing mechanical of the casing I think that's what makes it very, very unique because uh, you can actually just snap the case into place and it's just, it will hold your camera for a very, very long time in a very steady way. So I love this case uh, and you have the embossed logo here, Artisan and Artist, made in Japan. And how you put it on is just, you easily just slide this on, right? You just slide this on and you can just, snap it in your place there you go that's simple very very simple very ergonomic 
uh, very nice to the hand, very, it smells so nice too. <laughs> um, and what I like about leather cases is the more you use it, the more it, the more patina it will give out, you know, and depending on how you use it. So that's the leather case for the Leica Q. Link in the description below if you want to buy it for yourself. And uh, next up is the, the strap that I use. Uh, like the leather case, this is the Artisan and Artist Easy Slider Strap. So uh, what comes to my attention is I bought this second hand. It's not brand new. Uh, because I'm actually aiming for this certain color over here, this very color. Because this color is discontinued. It's called uh, emerald gray, if I'm not wrong, navy green. Uh, it's very, very nice in person. If you see it in person, I would bet 100% that you're going to be in love with this. Uh, because when I see artisan and artists out there, they usually, uh, people usually use red or black. Uh, and it's just kind of a cliche thing to do to pair black camera with red strap or black camera with black and all black stuff. So it's great to have colors here. It's great to have contrast and it's just made very well. Now, you might be wondering why it's called Easy Slider. Now, the name comes with a catch. So it's called Easy Slider because you see this hook over here. Now, this hook acts as a, as a slider. Hmm. <laughs> it acts as a slider. So if you want to adjust your strap uh, closer to your neck, you can just pull this up and it becomes much more shorter in length. And if you want to, uh, let's say if you want to walk and you want to put it on your shoulder, you can just pull this tab over here and it becomes longer. So it's a very, very versatile strap. I love it. Uh, every time I'm in the street and I start, uh, you know, I, 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 I want to walk away from the scene or something, I can just pull it out and you can use it as a, uh, as a shoulder strap. So it's a very, very good strap. It's like having two straps at one product. So it's a very, very nice one. Uh, and it's made very, very well. Uh, and I highly recommend uh, artisan artist strap. They just make one of the best strap out there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, but one of the thing, what's next, really? I mean, uh, one of the thing that I really looking forward is actually purchasing the the thumbs up grip for the for the Leica Q. I, I, I'm, I mean, I understand they they make a, a, a protruding, not protruding, sorry, uh, intruding. Is that the word? Uh, a thumbs, a thumb grip here, a built-in thumb grip, a thumb grip. Uh, but I really want to make it much more, I guess, I don't know, uh, grippier, if, if that's the word, because I use the video function. Uh, so uh, it, it'll be great to have additional grip uh, from the thumbs up here. So you can actually, you know, uh, shoot in different perspective without having the hassle to actually, you know, um, unbalanced shot or something. Uh, so it's, it's a thumbs up is one. I'll, I'll review it once I get it. And also the hood lens. Now I have a particular love for the ventilized hood lens uh, from Von Ostergaard. What was his name? Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, Mr. Uh, Overgaard. But uh, link in the description below. Uh, you know what I'm talking, talking about. I'll, I'll put the picture right here or right here or so. Uh, but I particularly love that hood lens because it makes the, uh, the camera looks a little bit more classic, uh, classier or classic. So it's a very, very nice touch. Uh, although it doesn't give you any benefit in terms of technicality, but it's, it looks cool, it looks nice, uh, and it looks very, very classy. So that is one. Oh, uh, I use B plus W uh, lens filter here, if you're wondering, as well with my Noctilux here. Uh, I'm a big fan of B plus W because they make such a very, very nice quality uh, filter with an affordable price, by the way, made in Germany. So yeah, B plus W filter, go ahead and get it. It's very, very nice. So yeah, this is all my accessories 
Hope you like it. Um, I'm not an expert, not a total expert on photography, but I do have passion for it. And what the perks of having a Leica, like I said before, is actually to able to dress it up, to, to, you know, to accessorize it, to make it your own personal camera. Not to be a tool, but to be a camp companion whenever you go, wherever you go. So this has been a very great uh, moment to share this with you. Uh, I hope you like it. This is all the accessories that I got. I'll put the in the link in the description below. If you just start from the Deluxe 6, you know, you have a head start. You know what to find for the accessories. The Leica T has a very nice accessories, although a little bit of hiccup on the case. And the Leica Q, I'm looking forward for, you know, improving the camera in an accessorizing way. So hope you like it. Uh, check out my uh, Instagram for my photography, all things photography stuff. Uh, I took all those shots with the Leicas here uh, and hope you like it. So this has been a very, uh, this has been a pleasure. See you on the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm Nathaniel, this is the first impression. As always, shining out.